Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Now, previously I had just met up with uh, Percival, I think, right? Yeah, he was in part of he was in that giant room with all the the big other paintings, and apparently I had to go grab the book and go back there because I didn't have it at the time. And that was after I completed like the Jack Dawes like uh, little story where how he died and where he died. And that took me on a wee journey into a cave, the Forbidden Forest, and a few other places. But now, uh, I presume we're going to have to learn some more classes because my tutor is not there. So I'm going to have to go and do that. Oh, the frame rates as usual. Oh, there's a bit of a loading screen. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Alright. Let's go to my first broom riding class. <coughs> I need it. I wish I had this uh, sooner, but I didn't. Oh, is that a foo flame? It is. Thank Handy you. Resource indeed, your field guide. <laughs> yes, I know. I also got talents in the previous episode as well, which I put mostly into just the default stuff, I think. All right. What tutor? Oh, I got mail. Actually, I want to read that. Okay, Helen Thistlewood. I'm happy to report that my sister Helen survived the sudden attack on Azkaban. Ah, oh, that was not in the previous episode, but the one before that. Hmm. Since you found Jack Tor's ghost and told him about, yeah, this or what? I'm pretty sure I talked to her at one point. Yeah, but uh, my tutor Professor Fig is not there at the moment. He's got the book at, the, at this point in time in the game, and I. He's not in his office. I have to wait and finish talking to him at some point. Well, Everybody finish this, grab sorry. a broom, and we shall get started. <coughs> Madam Cog... Kogawa. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Kagawa, Everyone, okay. please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is kiora, to kiora. remind all of you Hello. how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Alright, I can do that. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Do I push up on the key? Yep. Up. Easy. Easy. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay, so if I hear her whistle, ground myself. Good. Now, for your first lesson, Fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. That's weird. That is weird. How? Oh, okay. I'm going to get used to that. The fact that, uh, yes, I can look around with the, the, the right joystick, but my right joystick also controls my up and down, my ascent and descent. It's kind of weird. Can I speed up? <laughs> this is brilliant. Ah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's still I controls my left and right. This. But that's kind of weird. <clears throat> well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Okay. Are you gonna learn? Do you tell me how I can use like speed? This next set of rings Flight will speed. take you around the grounds I can hold for it. more of a challenge. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, that 
this. What a view! <laughs> That's, that is kind of weird. Nice day lie. for a flight. <laughs> this is rather fun. And I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool how you can fly around like this. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Crossing the lake, is that how you actually got the Hogwarts? Oh, I'm so used to like different flying controls for this, but hey, I'm, I can't complain too much. They're doing the best they can. It's a shame that I can't like look down and like Whoa. look up. Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> ah. Where's Sebastian? Not my Sebastian, not me, but the other one. I've still yet to talk to him about uh, what happened in the library. I still haven't done that. Huh, that wasn't too bad. Although I do wish this would go faster. Oh, well done. Have a moment. Okay, sure, whatever. I'm guessing we're gonna have the race by the sounds of it. I say, I watched you fly through those <coughs> rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But Hence. I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Hello. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? Oh, that's some of that. <laughs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. What if the, the tutor is going to about realize. to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Where are you going? Nice to get above it all, isn't it? The fact that you can fly around Hogwarts like this is pretty cool. Ahead of the gardens, Whoop. the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett like so quick? Window. It's nice. Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. I am leaning forward, aren't I? Boom controls, speed burst. Oh, it's left trigger. Oh, okay. Don't now pull left trigger with like that. <laughs> you sure you're not pulling? <laughs> There's the trash. famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Okay, that's pretty Flying cool, tips and a jaunt around. What? Oh, this is not quite pull, the tall that trigger. It, it is laggy as heck. Oh, I don't think they're gonna fix that. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. See what. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> That's terrible. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. There we go. And where have you two been? Just around the castle. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Whoops. Mr. Clopton. I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Yes, ma'am. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Thank you. I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, future self, uh, don't use the boost button. Sorry about that flying. business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. 
I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitches in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll okay. keep an eye out for you in the sky. Maybe I should go to Hogsmeade and pick one of those up. Ah, excellent. Uh, what now? Can I grant the photo in one of these brooms? <laughs> I, don't I wonder what would happen if I did that. Well, well, you know, I've killed the rider. About our library venture. Hey. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right, Sebastian. Let's. Oh, jeez. What is with the lagginess? What? Oh, the third. I'm not secretly updating something in the background, am I? Hold on, give me a moment. I'm going to check my PC. Okay, so I don't know if it was my PC. Maybe I was updating something in the background. I don't know. So I've closed everything I don't need open. And I've also dropped the graphics down a little bit because everything was set to ultra. Now I've dropped it down to high. So at least it shouldn't be to put too much strain onto my computer. As soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. Oh, Professor Weasley sent me uh, an outpost that I didn't manage to read. No, it's still doing it. Don't know why. Like, I can move around, no problem, but as soon as I hover over one of these things, it just... Ugh, goes horrible. The room of requirement. Ooh, actually, I want to talk to you first before I talk to Sebastian. Yes. Okay, alright, let's do that then. I know because the room of requirement was something where you could go and uh, build your own stuff. And I got that hopping pot. Uh, not in the previous episode, but the one before that, I think. Back to humming again. Well, at least you're back together again, unlike last time. Uh, you got somewhat brutally murdered, if I recall. Okay, let's go. Meet with Professor Weasley. Again, I like to the travel uh, the halls instead of actually using the food flames. I know food flames are a lot faster, but I know there's just something about admiring the hard work and oops, wrong way. Admiring the hard work that the game designers put into this. <sighs> so cool. I just wish it ran a bit better though. I really do. Hello, knights. Good to see you again for the upteenth time. Pretty sure I mentioned this before, but <sighs> these guys must have one of the thickest legs in the world of climbing so many damn stairs. Alright, let's keep moving up. Oh, oh, hello. Uh, I need to do this. Oi, what the? Mm, something's definitely wrong. On like a huge, uh, huge scale. If, if I'm just doing that and it's not like, crashing my audio, which it has done, and freezing up like that. That's something wrong. Hold on. I'm going to see if there's an update for this game, and I'm also going to check my drivers. Okay. I seem to have fixed it. Let's hope it stays that way. Alright, now I'm going to go continue off where I was going off to before. Hello, good sir. I need to... I want to go to the room of requirement. Hello? Professor Weasley? Where are you, madam? Hello. Professor Weasley. She gonna teleport in? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Behind the curtain? Or is it behind the wall? I gotta use Revelio. <coughs> oh. Mm, very sophisticated. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. 
I see you've wasted no time. Well done. But I didn't do anything. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. Thank you, dear pretty principal. Oh, another loading sequence. Hey, get the mouse off the screen, Jeremiah. You're a professional, professional recorder. Come on. What is oh. this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. Deke. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Okay. This is a funky room of requirement. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. Just push it away. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, Evanesco. the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. Uh, X, Y, A, X. Okay. A, Y, A, X, Y. Thank goodness I'm actually using like a proper controller for this. Because previously I used a uh, PlayStation 4 controller with uh, third party software now, to make it work. And it would always bring up uh, the Xbox controller buttons. And I would look down and just go, shit, which button is it? Because I was never used to it. And now I've got to. Shit. Uh, yeah, let's go that one. Uh, what's it under? Let's go Y. No. Oh. There. Incendio. Whoops, I didn't mean to burn that, sorry. <laughs> that was a mistake. Excellent work. Oh, it's a moonstone for it. You'll note that you are now in possession of moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Uh, I've had on. Moonstone before. I picked it up on my adventures outside of Hogwarts. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Oh, I can turn the... I can turn it on. Oh, it's a... Hey. I've that... waited for you for ages. Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. Uh, Professor Weasley, uh, try not to talk over still me. Here. I'll just take a quick look at this give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Thank you, Professor. I, I wanted to say what's on this piece of parchment and I can't. I've waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you expected. Let me know if you want to try and meet again. Sincerely, T. Okay. Revelio. Anything of importance here that I can see? No. I know. There is. Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Apologies, apologies. Okay, what else we got here? This thing. More moonstone. Brilliant, brilliant. Is that a chest? That is a chest. No, it's not a chest. It's something I can pull. Which I need to do. Nope, with that. Accio. This. Actually, come. And slide. Okay. No. Oh. Okay, maybe I pulled a bit too far. Can I push it? I can push it slightly. At least I can do that much. Come on. Move closer. There we go. That's enough. Yep. Up we go. Mm, chest. Blue leather gloves. Oh, they're purples too. Yep. Uh, are they better than the ones I currently got? They are better than the ones I currently got, but uh, the level I can't use yet. It's disappointing. Okay. Uh, that way, this way. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! 
Stop them! Task person. No, no, no. I found this. Uh... No, not. Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Oh. You must be full of anxiety, that uh, knight's armor. Don't worry, I, I found this room because I need it, apparently. Oh, what's this? Oh no, I'm just trimming the, the bushes. <laughs> Alright, give me that moonstone. Thank you. Flush. Wow, it actually flushes with waters too. Jeez. Bit offended the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Huh. Oh yeah, that's a whetstone. Grindstone, whatever you want to call it. Oh wow, look, it's paper lanterns. Very nice. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? You crawl. Hello, harp. Eight more moonstone. What was that? It's like a Quidditch ball. Was that a golden snitch? Yeah, it's a Quidditch Perhaps ball. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> oh, cheeky bastard. Okay, uh, no, this one. Accio. Come with me. Thank you. Bloop. What's behind here? Uh, something else apparently. What's this? What good does this do for me though? I I can. I can't push it away. I can pull it, but it doesn't do anything though. Hold on. Oh no. This is Accio. Ah. Can I Can I open the chest from here? Hello? No. Accio. Can I Okay, maybe not. Hold on. Maybe I can't push, can I? I don't have a Dispello or push thing, do I? I do not. It's currently locked. Depulso. I wonder if I could. Levioso! Accio! Whoa! Okay. Oh, no. Yes, there we go. Unidentified face item. What? What is that? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Take this to the room of requirement to reveal its qualities. Interesting. It also it looks like it's got something else onto it. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Well, at least I got what I needed from there. No books. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Did I just leave uh, Professor Weasley behind? Well, apparently I did. I bet you all these suitcases and books and boxes are all going to disappear as soon as I get somewhere. Ow, glass. Hello? I see you up there. Excuse me? Right. Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are! Wait right there. Deke will come to you. There you are. Professor Weasley. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. 
<laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Alright. Pieces of furniture while I'm here. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. You gonna tell me how to use the moonstone now? I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It oh. can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. All right, you have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any unidentified gear that you've collected. Well, it comes with an owl as two. An owl too. Oh, very nice. Okay, I did just pick up that new headpiece. Curious silver spectacles. Oh, that's disappointing. Ugh, again, I did the wrong thing. I keep pressing the other button when I don't want to. Gear. Uh, apparently, this new one's pretty garbage. Yeah, that's really garbage. Okay, so there's no point putting that on. I know there's a new piece of face wear which ah here we go decreased damage taken from dark wizards oh nice I will definitely equip that because it's far better than what I've currently got but those glasses design oh utterly atrocious gonna go back to the hexagon rimmed glasses it looks so much better all right so that's You'll find done. plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. Revelio. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Okay. Is it a fifth line? It is a fifth line. Can I collect you? Hello? Uh, no. Oh, all right. Guess not. All right. Tell me how to use this room. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now. I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Oh, okay. I really sh I need to unlock another one of those slots. Okay, that one. Yeah, I need to unlock another one of those slots that allows me to use more spells. I probably need to unlock all four, if I'm being Very honest. Good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources <coughs> such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Well, that's good to know. I can make more Wiganwald potions as I need it. Okay, uh, yeah, I need to... <sighs> I don't know what level I am. I need it. Oh, I really need to do that. 
Uh, I don't think I'll be needing repair over anytime soon, so let's do that. Alright, uh, not potions, wall hangings. What would it be under? This description? No, it's not it. This one? So, there's the small hopping pot stations. Okay, that's alright. Where's the other one that I got? Is it under something else? Rugs? No, not rugs. Not there. Definitely not that one. Tables, chairs, seatings, utility, wall hangings. I'm sure I got that, didn't I? Like the hopping pot. No, I'm gonna look for it. Where is it? Definitely not those ones. Uh, not under seasonal. Not there. Nothing in tables. Nothing in chairs. Nothing in wall hangings. I don't want to use any of the wall hangings anyway. Uh, furniture. Rugs. Do I not have it? Or is it not here? Try to learn. Scientific material refiner. Let's remove that. This description. I guess not. Or well, might be something else. Wait, no. What's this? <gasps> Here it is. Okay. Uh, hopping pot budget. Only three. Quite 30. Ooh. Uh, let's... Hold on. Hang on. There was stuff on the wall. Can I take it off? I can. Yeah, give me that. Give me all that moonstone. Uh, not that. No. I want this. Oh. And that one. Don't need the barrel. Probably ruining my, um... No! <laughs> Alright, alright, alright. It's not the end of the world. I can always just replace it and put it back somewhere else. Uh, let's... Okay. Each other. I need this one back. There's a must. There. Oh, I can make it different colors. Nah, I'll stick with the one that I've already got. I already like it the way it is. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. This one doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that looks nice. Oh. Uh, let's put it there. Okay, and I've got to get one of these herbology ones. Yeah, let's put this one. Oh, not enough space. Oh wow, it's actually quite big. It's not small. Okay, can I fit it in here? Damn it. Okay. Alright, hold on. I need to get rid of that. I need to do this. I'm gonna go this. I'm gonna go this. What I want to do is hug this wall as much as possible to the left. Alright. Then I want to get one of these tables. Yes, there we go. I want it next to each other. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presumably, oh, of course, you've collected okay. any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Alright, let's put these somewhere else. Not there. Let's put these in this corner. Oh. Hey. That way? Ugh, seriously? Okay, one. Two. I'm gonna get three since it's limit anyway. Alright, so if I come back here in like 12 minutes, I should have some random Deke will be here to stuff. answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Okay. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I don't think there's anything I could use at this point in time. But, thank you. Ah, I can mix another wooden wall potion. Nice. Oh, it's only 14 seconds, not half a century. Oh, good. 
Because if it took any longer than that, I'd be kind of annoyed. You can destroy the potion? Why would you want to do that? Pick it up. Lovely. Yeah, I didn't need leaves. That's what I need. Uh, let's grow some more in here. Yield five. That's not bad. Yeah, I can see why you would want a bigger, bigger thingy table. Because, honestly, that this is not enough. Okay, now I've got to speak to you again. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully I just used outside it all, of the I? Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. How much do I need? Gather 50 moonstone. Oh, what? Yoink. Yoink. Goodbye, cheers. I uh, keep that. I could get rid of two hopping things. I mean, I just put them down, but I would rather do it now than I do it later. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Well, that's good to know. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Hello? Is the room getting bigger? Is this the exit? Oh, more stuff I can just take off the walls. No, the room is getting bigger. Eyo, more space to work. An even bigger space. Yeah. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. I wonder, could you bring somebody else inside to the room of requirement? Probably. I mean, she's here, but... I don't know. Okay, uh, what I want to do is... I'm gonna go this way. I want to take some of the stuff off the walls. I don't need it on the walls. Besides, because you will almost don't. That one. That one. Here we go. I can probably make some more stuff if I need it in the future. Like when I get enough to make like a large hopping station. Not large hopping station, large crafting table area. Nick. Nick. There's a lot on the walls. Damn. Just a whiz. Oh, I didn't remake the more hopping things, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, this one. This one. Put that there. Put that there. It's a shame that I can only put in like three and not any more, but I guess the fact that it makes like potions for you from the get go may be a bit too overpowered. Uh, you know what? It's going to take me half a century to be able to. I say that, it's not going to take that long. It's just going to take me even longer to get all those things off the walls. But how long does this have left? One minute, okay. So I'm going to take as much as I can off in one minute, and then we're going to go back and see what potion I got. Come on, ready? Thank you. I'll just leave some of the stuff on the walls. Seeing as it's, you know, 
At least makes the place look a bit more alive. Alright. That should be done, right? Right, 20 seconds. I can wait that long. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, so they are slightly different. Why didn't they change colour though? Guess there's a, a separate setting for that, I suppose. Alright, what are you going to give me? A Wigan World Potion. Yoink! Alright. Time to get out of here. And I can just... Ah, oh, it takes me out to the Astronomy Tower. Cool. I gotta go see Sebastian. He has a spell that perhaps I want to learn. Okay, where on the map is... Uh, Sebastian, hello, there you are. You are the one I want to talk to. Especially for helping me out in the, uh, the library debacle. And it's the Dev Knight. Mm. So nobody's awake. Interesting. That seems awfully eerie considering. But hey probably the right time to learn the dark arts and the mysteries of the universe. Hello knights, it's good to see you again. Okay. So the only people that are awake now are the ghosts, the paintings, and anyone who wants to do something dangerous. Oh no, Sebastian's not here. Disappointing. I'll wait. Oh no, there you are. Oh so yeah. Sebastian, it's been a while. Indeed it, it has. has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did. I did. But something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. They probably this do. Way. Enter the secret room. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Revelio. Huh. A creepy skull painting. Enter the Undercroft. So I just go in by myself? How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. Huh. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone, but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. Fair enough. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. High top hat. Ooh. I might put that on to look dapper. Hello. Come on. Uh, hat wear. I didn't, I didn't actually have any hat wear at all. Oh, no, actually I did. I just didn't realise it. There's a Byzantine barrette. Ah, oh, I'm keeping that on. <laughs> yes. I'm a high man of classes and society. I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. 
Why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Ooh. You spit. Okay. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very okay. well. What's Z? Yep. So it's another red spell. Okay. That's pretty good. I'll need this. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick sure. to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels Rebellion. farther than that of a spell like Incendi. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, long range bolt. Oh. Okay, let's put it on that one instead. Confringo. Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. Alright, let me just uh, take all your. Oh! Your gear slots are full? I don't know, there was such a thing as gear slots in this. What? Okay, um. I'd oh, better off going to sell it, if I'm being honest. Destroying it doesn't seem like a good idea. I don't think I'll get anything out of it. I didn't say that I can, but. You know what? Let's try. I'll do it on one of the cheaper items, like one of my blue items. Oops, wrong one. Gear. Uh, so... No. Huh. Under wands? Now all, these are all good, like... Uh, yeah. I know, here we go. Let's try it on this one. Left. So, that doesn't let me... Okay. I don't get anything back for destroying it. So, there's no point destroying said items. Can I open this again? A leather flat cap. And what's in here? Again. Shit. It's full. Another piece of gear that I can't use. Alright, Sebastian, I learnt the spell. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo. We singed our eyebrows. <laughs> Whoops. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Me, Tan. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way... What was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. 
I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Hmm. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. I'm assuming that he's he's going to be the one to teach me some uh, other spells that I shouldn't know. But uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, I have to try and keep my promise of not telling anybody about the Undercroft. And the fact that I talked to him about how I can see ancient magic. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. Oh. You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. Cool. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? I stumbled upon it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Suffice to say, he's not exactly happy to see me. Hmm. Right. If I use talent points, oh yes, I need to, what I need to do is, okay, was it core? I'm pretty sure it was core. Yes, it was. I need this. This is a must. I need another one of these. I also need another one of these. Oh, I can't use that one. Damn it. I have to be level 16 for it. Damn. Alright, okay. Uh, I've still got points left I haven't used. Quiet talent. Uh, no. Again, I'm gonna come back. Oh, wait, the room of requirement. Oh. Uh, mission vulnerable. Quiet talent. Okay, that's bad. It's not exactly what I was thinking of, but uh, whatever. Uh,. Confringo Mastery. Impacts produce fiery bolts that seek enemy targets. That'd be pretty good. Definitely using that a lot. Enemies uh, levitated by Leviosa are also levitated. That's actually not bad. Like, good crowd control. What's this one? No, not that one. Yeah, having this will be just good to have. I'll hold off on using the last tunnel point if I can help it. Okay, what do I want to do next? Oh, there's a person down here who looks like he needs side quest done. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small uh, project. Read mail. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. 
Okay, Professor Garlic, I'll do that then. Hang on. What are my quests? Map chamber, which I haven't done because I still haven't uh, talked to Professor Fig. Uh, focus potion, that's not bad. Venomous Strangular, simultaneously. I haven't gotten that one. Flight test. Purchase a. <gasps> that's what I need to do. Perry Pippin. It helps me see me now. We're going to the rest. We're going to look for some simple work, some gold. Actually, I need to go buy a broom. Okay, where's the map? Map, map, map. Here we go. I want to do that first because if I don't do that, I'm kind of screwed. Hogsmeade. All right. Uh, where's the brooms? Brooms, brooms. Oh here. Flight test. No. Travel. Hogsmeade, here I come. Alright then, I need to give myself a broom. Hopefully these aren't too expensive. And I can sell some of my stuff oh, that I'm not using. New face. Wonderful. Hello. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. Ooh. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Yes, I am. Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind mm. wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Well, that's good to know. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. All right, what do you have to offer? What are we looking for what today? What items do I need to peruse? Oh, six hundred. I want to sell some stuff that I won't be needing. This one, yes, sell that. Nice doing business with you. That's better than what I've currently got. Let's not sell that. That's definitely better than what I got too. Uh, do need that. No, I shouldn't have to hold down the button to be able to sell some stuff, but uh, through kind of annoying, but whatever. Okay, uh, before I Thanks buy a, a broom by. from you, I'm going to adjust my gear. Okay. So, I've got some better gloves I can put on, which give me more tack, which is good. Which, they look terribly ugly, so I'm going to swap them back out for what I had previously, which was these ones. I think. Or was it these ones? Oh, these ones actually look pretty cool. Okay, there, and sort of hat. 31 for defense. All right, I'll wear that weird looking hat, but I want to look dapper. So give me the top hat. Thank you. Uh, Talents outpost, 15. All right, I need under What are we looking for today? That item is of the highest quality. When do I set up? It's terrible. Uh, that was not too bad. That item is of the highest quality. Ember dash broom. That one looks pretty cool. It's got some special effects on it too, by the looks of it. Yep. You'll be thrilled Done. with that broom. I promise you. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. I, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. Okay. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, 
I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds pretty good. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once oh. you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Flight test. Well, I'm going to steal all your stuff first. And then I'm going to sell you the stuff I stole to you. <sighs> I can't stop but from... admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Okay, don't need this. And there's level 16, but it's kind of useless to me because it's less defense. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Oh, I saw that. Rebellion. Yoink. Spit which is sporting needs, run by the Evanwell Welks. The shop sells all manner of visiting sports goods, including the latest broom models. Gospel around town that um, itself is working a number of broom enhancements. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, so I've got a lot to do. Oh, don't, don't do that. I've got a lot to do. I've got to... I gotta go talk to the professor who's uh, of herbology. Uh, what else have I gotta do? I gotta do this time trials. I uh, gotta go see Professor Fig if he's actually in his office. If he's not, then I'm probably gonna have to be doing Does something else. Does it get else. any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Ah uh, yes, does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? You've entered an area that allows flight. Uh, press LB then Oh. Yeah. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, cool. Sweet. And now I can fly. Let's go to flight speed. I like the fact that this broom's slightly on fire. Okay, now I can use the boost option without it uh, crashing and burning. That's so cool. Look at this place. Shame I can't get like a good, really good photo of that. I can't go into first person, but yeah, I can't complain. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Hogwarts Legacy. I've done a lot. I've done a lot. Got the room requirement. Uh, I got my broom. I did some flying lessons, and I also learned a new spell. So yeah, I've done a lot in this episode, that's for sure. And look at look at that. That is an amazing view, isn't it? But anyway. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.